which means all praises to which means all praises to uh Yahweh, which is the name of the heavenly father but Hashem means in the name Yahweh is the name of his only begotten son who the world frequently calls jesus christ you know double honest uh to the apostles and elders a great millstone and salutations to all you brothers who preach the gospel and truth and in sincerity always in charity you know as you brothers can see the title of the lesson you know uh, uh we just we just gonna go into uh hamalachwa you know we're just gonna go into the kingdom you know and, and, and man you know whatever the spirit the spirit uh gives unto us you know so, but I want to start where we were with spirit that you brothers want to start. Yeah, yeah, fine. It was a uh, 10th chapter. You know, because we were just uh, uh, sitting here talking through the spirit, you know, we ran through a couple of chapters, you know, and spirit helped on us, like, hey, hey, you know, just, just put it on wax, you know. So. Uh, verses, uh, start. Um, you can start at uh, um, start at uh, 49. Yeah, this is Daniel chapter. Uh, this is second air church chapter 10 verse 49 and behold thou sawest her likeness and because she mourned for her son thou beganest to comfort her now these things it's like, it's like 41. this is a second air chapter 10 verse 41 it says thou sawest a woman mourning and thou beganest to comfort her but now seest thou the likeness of the woman no more but there appeared unto thee a city built. Mm -hmm. So right, this is a vision. Uh, U Uriel is breaking down the vision that uh, Ezra seen. You know, he seen a woman mourning, and then uh, the woman, uh, her face shined, and then she turned into a city. The city being Jerusalem, the holy city. You know, which is a uh, uh, the manifestation. Uh, he was showing them the glory of the kingdom. You know, Joel. Uh, yeah, this is on um, verse. Uh... 42 it says but thou but now seest thou the likeness of the woman no more but there appeared unto thee a city builded and whereas she told thee of the death of her son this is the solution it's lucky this woman whom thou sawest is zion and whereas she said unto thee even she whom thou sawest as a city builded whereas i say she said unto thee and she has been 30 years buried those are the 30 years wherein there was no offering made in her but after 30 years solomon built the city offered offerings and then buried buried the bear a son it says and whereas she told thee that she nourished him with labor that was a dwelling in jerusalem but whereas she said unto thee that my son coming into his marriage chamber have to have a fail and died this was the destruction that came to jerusalem and behold thou sawest her likeness and because she mourned for her son thou beganest to comfort her and of these things which have have chanced there are lucky so there are to be open unto thee it says for now the most high seeth that thou art grieved unfailing and suffers from the whole heart for her so hath he showed thee the brightness of her glory and the comeliness of her beauty exactly you know just like how ezekiel 9 and 4 speaks about uh us signing crime you know those that's uh tired of the abominations that's going on in this place man those that are vexed daily like lot was you know mm -hmm. this is a uh, psalm chapter 149 verse uh Verse 4 it says, The Lord taketh pleasure in his, in his people, he will beautify the meek with salvation. So, yeah, that's that's how the Lord is going to beautify us. 
you know, starting with his wisdom, uh, they, he, what he's gonna, uh, he has a, uh, that's one of the promises set up for the elect. The one is, is, the, is the glory of getting the, the last, the last word, or the I told you so, and then to actually have the salvation to go into the kingdom, the first interest and the first go round. Coming from uh, rags to riches, like they said. Um, is verse 51. It says, And therefore I bade thee remain in the field where no house was built, for I knew that thou that the highest would show thee to so like it would show this unto thee. Therefore I commanded thee to go into the field where no foundation of any building was. Mm -hmm. For in the place where now highest began to show his city, there can no man's building be able to stand. And that's it, man. You know. There can no man's building be able to stand, man. The kingdom of heaven, hey, that, that's why in the book of Revelation, uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, it showed the visual of him with many crowns, man. Why did he have many? Can, can we grab that? You know, you, you hold anything? I got a couple. You know, you, you let him ride, bro. I'll get the revelation. Yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah, go ahead, bro. This is Daniel chapter 2, verse 44. It says, And in the days of these kings shall the most high of heaven set up a kingdom. Which shall never be destroyed. And the day of what kings, man? The day of those uh, uh, the the, uh, uh, the ten horns, which is the ten toes, which is the EU and NATO, man. You know, in the days of those kings, man. These kings that's living today, the kingdom of heaven is being set up, man. How has it been set up? Through 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 the sincere Achim and Achwath waking up, man. You know, whatever. Yeah, it says, which shall never never be destroyed and the kingdom shall not be left to other people that's it man and can no man's building stand with it man so the kingdom of heaven is it, it, going to be an israelite rule man you know to cut all that madness about uh oh well, well we all going to join hand in hand with all these heathens no that ain't happening man you know go ahead, go ahead, uh, uh psalm 140 uh, um 45 and 13 says um by kings they were like the kingdom but the many endure throughout all generations you know that's what's gonna happen man we're gonna have a, um an everlasting kingdom full of dominion so i'm gonna be um um everything's gonna be everything gonna be in subjection to the nation of israel all right we'll be sucking them um uh, uh sucking the milk of the gentiles man all right these other nations all right so all we gotta do is just endure this chance and just, just for a little while, all right? Like an address when the lady was mourning, it's only for a moment, man. But the end result is gonna be an everlasting and a glorious, um, a glorious kingdom established, man. On the rulership and on the rulership and under the guidance of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that's what you got to come more, or not? Um, yeah, Isaiah 60, 60 uh, we're talking 15. We're talking, I'm going to start at 14. The sons also of them that afflict thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of, of the Holy One of Israel, where thou hast seen, where thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went, went through thee, I will make thee in eternal excellency a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord and, and thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob, man. I'm going to keep on reading. He's going to chase him in the riches. For I will bring gold, and for, I, I, for, like it. For, for brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood, it's a lot here. It's a lot here. Start at one. Start at one. Start at one. Okay. Start at one. Bible for sure. All right. Isaiah sixteen and one. Arise, shine for the light is come, mm -hmm. and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Upon who, man? Hey, hey, that's the elect. You know. Thy light has come, y'all shy as our light. These scriptures, this word, the Holy Spirit. Go ahead, brother. So for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. Hey, as it did. 
as it is this day, man. Gross darkness has covered this place, man. And we the lights that shine in the darkness. Go ahead, bro. Excuse me. It says, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and the glory shall be seen upon thee. Mm -hmm. And the Gentiles shall come to the light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Mm -hmm. hey, and we are those Gentiles. We are those kings, man. You know, we're coming to the light, to the knowledge of who we are. Right? Go ahead, bro. Lift up thy eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to see. Who is they? All they gather themselves together, man. Who is they now? Right? Let's keep reading. Find out who they is. It says, they come, they come to thee. Thy son shall come from far, and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side. Mm -hmm. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be covered unto thee. The abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee, man. Hey, this is all in the kingdom of heaven, man. The abundance of the people. The sea represents the people. Revelation, what's that, 17, if I'm not mistaken? You know, the waters. Revelation, uh, 17, 15, it says, And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. So that's uh, 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 them bringing the what? All their riches, the spices, the goods. Gold, yep. silver, yep. you know, different uh, uh, spices, yep. fruits. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Bringing it in to us, man. Go ahead, bro. Um, I want to make a note real quick. Hey, is going to be the sole proprietor of everything that's going on in the kingdom, man? All right, ain't nobody gonna be getting it. How is it, it gonna be getting it, man? We will, we will, we will be the um, 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 uh, the talk of the town forever and ever, man. All right, this is um Isaiah sixty and um sixty and five. Then shall thou see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. A multitude of camels shall cover the dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be together, shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with the acceptance of my altar, and I will glorify the house of my of my glory mm -hmm. who are these that fly as cloud as a cloud and as the doves to their windows surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy son from far the silver and their gold with them unto the name of the lord thy power yeah and, and where the name is man lord places name where in jerusalem that holy city man go ahead and to the holy one of israel because he have glorified thee and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and the king shall minister unto thee. Hey, and guess what our walls is going to be built with, man? Yeah. You got it already? Uh, I'm already right, old. You, you go ahead. I'm going to get to Isaiah 49. This is uh, Revelation 21 and um, verse 18. It says, In the building of the wall of it was of jasper. And the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. And the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was Jasper, the second Sapphire, the third a Chaldoni, the fourth Emerald, the fifth Sardonyx, the sixth Sardius, the seventh Chrysolite, the eighth Beryl, the ninth Topaz, the tenth Chrysophorus, the eleventh Jason, the twelfth and Amethyst. And the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl. In the street of the city was pure gold, as it were transparent glass, man. You know, and you you gonna you gonna build those walls, man. This is a uh, got a lot of work to do, man. Mm. It uh, speaks about a uh, continual employment. I definitely get it. Damn, <laughs> it's a spirit. You know. I gotta preach up after you get it. Where? But this is a uh, this is the uh, grab this Tobit real fast. This is Tobit. 
13 and uh, 15, it says, Let my soul bless the Most High, the great King. For Jerusalem shall be built up with sapphires and emeralds and precious stones, thy walls and towers and battlements with pure gold. And the streets of Jerusalem shall be paved with beryl and carbuncle and stones of ophir. And all her streets shall say, Hallelujah, and they shall praise him, saying, Blessed be the Most High, which hath bestowed it forever, man. You know? So, hey, 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 you, 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 hey, you're going to build up our glorious kingdom, man. You understand? Go ahead, bro. You got the continuing point. Uh, is, um, Ezekiel 39 and 14. It says, um, sure, start at 13. That in seven months shall the house of Israel be bearing of them that they may cleanse the land. Yea, all the people of the land shall bury them, and shall be to them a renown the day that I, sh that I shall be glorified, saith the Lord, saith the Lord Yahweh. And they shall sever out men of continual employment passing through the land to bury with the passengers those that remain upon the face of the earth. That's it. Boom. You know, yep. continual employment, man. They ain't slavery. First job you're going to do is bury the bodies. You know, and then once the body's buried, they ain't shit, man. You know what I'm saying? That contract come into work. Mm -hmm. the, 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 block time. <laughs> with your, ass, your ass on it, man. You say you had a prison right there, though, bro? Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 49, verse um, 23. It says, And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, and their queens thy nursing mothers. What's, what's 22, sir? Oh, yeah, 22 is it. Sorry, 22. It's verse 22. It says, Thus saith the Lord of power. Behold, I will lift up mine hand to the Gentiles and set up my standard to the people. Mm -hmm. And they shall bring thy sons in their arms, and thy daughters shall be carried upon their shoulders. Hey, hey right, man. You know? And when I uh, think of that scripture, I think of, uh, you know, in the ancient world, how they was carried on litters. You know what I'm saying? How they have it on their shoulder. <laughs> It'd be four of them, you know what I'm saying? And they'd be laid, they'd be laid back. <laughs> the yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're gonna be carried on your shoulders, man. Hey, because it's going we going back ancient, baby. Yeah. We going back to them ancient days, man. You understand? Uh, that's the standard that the Lord is lifting up to the Gentiles to put you into slavery so you so that you can serve him. Because you're gonna serve him through his people. Hey, 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 the standard is this word, and this word brings what? Justice. God, the and, and justice is what? That judgment is hey, what you did unto us, man. Hey, matter of fact, matter of fact, it's more than that, right? I know the Bible for sure. Bible for sure. You know, this is a lamentation. This is Lamentations 1 and 21. It says, They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. Who was the day? You heathens, man. Revelation, the 11th chapter. You know? You sent gifts back and forth. We was those gifts, man. You rejoice. You made merry. At what? At our fall. The book of Ezekiel, it said, what? Aha, aha. You know, you laughed at our fall, man. You appointed our land into, into your possession. This is the time of the Gentiles, man. Right? Yeah. This is the time of the Gentiles. So what do you heathens need salvation from, man? The kingdom of heaven is it, 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 for the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. It says... All my enemies have heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, and they shall be like unto me, man. You understand? So how we on the, uh, uh, um, we the, we the tail, just like in the curse of Deuteronomy, man. Hey, it's going to flip around. We're going to be those heads, man. And you're going to bring everything unto us as, as we read and as we're going into. It says, let all their wickedness come before thee and do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all my transgressions for my signs are many in my heart it's faint man you know so you you, you gonna reap the same thing so I can go. that's uh verse 23 it says uh isaiah 49 23 it says in the in kings shall be thy nursing fathers and their queens thy nursing mothers hey just like how ours was you still got pictures of uh, uh with the mammy 
the old nigga woman breastfeeding eating right there. Little little scalp on her head. You know. Says, they shall bow down to Z with their face toward their Yes, they that's what's gonna happen, man. You gonna bow to us, man. You understand? Same people you look down to that you scoff, that you talk shit against. That's why wisdom of Solomon in the fifth chapter says what it says, man. This this is he who we had in derision. How is he how is he numbered amongst you know? Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, and look up the dust of thy feet, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord, for they shall not be ashamed that wait for me. Mm-hmm. You know, going back to the second Ezra, uh, you know, when he was telling the woman, uh, that he was giving her courage, he's like, hey, you know, bear this, bear this into this moment. But she was uh, talking to the uh, to himself and the elect. Uh, Verse um, 24 says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? But thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away. The prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will, for I will contend with him that contends with thee, and I will save thy children. <laughs> he said, I will contend with them that contend with thee, man. You know? And the Lord said, uh, that Zechariah, uh, I think it's 12 and 14, if I'm not mistaken, speaks about their eyes melting and their tongue. And the Lord said, this is the plague that shall take hold of them that fought against Jerusalem, man. So all you people fighting against us building, you know? That was it on that, bro. Uh, please, please, a little bit more. Says, and I will feed them that oppress thee with their own flesh, Ooh. and they shall be drunken with their own blood, as with sweet wine. Now all flesh shall know that I am the so like the Lord, I am thy Savior and thy Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. That's it. That's it, baby. This is uh Psalms two and eight. It says. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and in uttermost parts of the earth for thy pipe, for, uh, slucky, for thy pipe, for possession, slucky. I'm excited. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. You know, and and, and, and that's what Yahweh shall receive of his father, right? And this is Revelation two, in uh, twenty six. It says, "And he that overcome it and keep my works unto the end." To him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, man. You know, Romans 8 speaks about us, uh, uh, us being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. It says that uh, at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, you know. And we're fighting all willing uh, to be uh, joint heirs, man. So everything is going to be converted unto what? Hey, hey, the children of Israel. You know? That's what the kingdom of heaven is for, man. That's who the Messiah is coming to save. Israelites, man. Mm -hmm. This is um, uh, Daniel 7. Yep. And, um, and uh, I can't see, man. 27. To the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. Little key, little key started nine, bro. Daniel 7 and 9. It says, I beheld, I beheld, till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from him, came from came forth from before him. Thousand thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him, and, and the the judgment was was set, and the books were opened. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, how the uh, the Most High, you know the Ancient of Days, you know. 
fire you stream in the chariot with all the other angels, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, um, I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, I believe. I beheld. It's like I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed and given to the burning flames. As concerning the rest of the beast, they had their dominion taken away, yet their lives were prolonged for a season at a time. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. Well, who, who was the Son of Man coming with the clouds of heaven, man? See how I was shot, you know? Coming, coming in the chariots, right? Go ahead. And came to the angel of days. So now he's coming to the Father, the Most High. Go ahead. And they brought him near before him. And there was given him dominion and glory in the kingdom that all... Notice it said after the beast was given to the flame. So this after the destruction. You know? It says, there was given him dominion and glory in the kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. The dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. In his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. That boom. <laughs> boom. You know? You, you can jump down to where you are, brother. That was the title 27. In verse 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. I mean, like, these scriptures clear cut who, um, who heaven is for, man. All right? It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. All right, that's how we know. A lot of things how we know. That when we get in the rulership, it's gonna be forever, man. All right, we're never gonna come down again. We're gonna be led by the spirit of your what and the sun our shine. All right, all right. So all good thing, you know. Hey, y'all live it up, man. Cause all your good things gonna come to an end, man. All right. But when the ball stops, man, we're gonna be the one rolling, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it's prophesied since the beginning, man. This is Deuteronomy thirty-three. I'm gonna start at twenty-six. It says, there is none like unto the power of Jeshurun, which Yahshua, you know, it's talking about Yahweh by Shem Yahushua, you know. Uh, Yahshua means an uh, uh, upright one, you know. The power of, uh, of Jeshua, who rideth upon the heaven in thy help, he coming in the clouds, right? right. It says, in, in his excellency on the sky, the eternal power is thy refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. He shall thrust out the enemy from before thee and shall say, destroy them. Israel then shall dwell in safety alone. For the fountain of Jacob shall be upon a land of corn and wine. Also his heaven shall drop down dew. Happy art thou, O Israel, who is like unto thee, O people, saved by Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh the strength of thy help, and who is the sword of thy excellency, and thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee, and thou shalt tread upon their high places, man. You know? And that's what's coming, man. The salvation of Israel, man. You know? Unto the uh, unto, unto the kingdom of heaven, man. Wherein dwelleth all good things, as the scripture said. You know? Uh, please help real quick. Yeah, yeah bro. Uh, Isaiah chapter 60. That's where, uh, that's, that's where the brother holds. We, we still in Isaiah 60. Did he get the 21 yet? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. I got a precept to it while I was going to This is Isaiah 45. Um, verse 15, it says, Verily thou art a power that hides thyself, O power of Israel, the Savior. Yeah, it says they shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. Yeah, because the Lord, like I said, the Lord is long suffering, man. Right? You know, that's that's what going back to the second edges again, where he, he was telling that woman to be courageous, and it, and it talks about in the scriptures, man, that we're gonna bear the indignation of the Lord, but for a moment, but then in the end, we're gonna get that final laugh, man. Lord willing, you know, it says, mm -hmm. it says verily thou art power that hideth thyself, man, you know. But though we, we get afflicted and, uh, you know, or as a whole, Israel isn't established as, as a, 
or made known as a kingdom in the earth you know they they look down on us it's, it's saying that the lord is like it's like he's hiding himself from his people or if you want to say that the most high isn't when he is you know but no the lord just got everybody in the trick bag man it says they shall they shall be ashamed and also confounded all of them they shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols you know everybody that uh that forsook this way they start either following themselves uh following other philosophies you know it just grew impatient and, and, and said that this, this idol did this man and gave me th these uh these glorious things for this time it says that uh you know in the book of isaiah they're gonna be confounded they're looking dumbfounded man stupid but israel shall be saved in yahweh with an everlasting salvation you shall not be ashamed nor confounded the world without end yeah because it's not gonna be an end to our kingdom as it says the everlasting salvation one of the ways the lord is gonna save us is through what putting the uh, making us righteous man you know making us all righteous to where we never fuck up you know the wisdom of solomon three and um and six as gold in the furnace as, as he tried them and receive them as a burnt offering in the time of their visitation they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and the lord shall reign over them you know, so that's what's going to happen man right all this is all this is a preamble you know to get into the kingdom man i can all because um because um what we're bringing out are prophecies as well man all right, this is the glorious side of our prophecy, man. It's all gonna be glorious, all right. Sitting there watching, watching the fall of American, and just hearing the panic and the distress of these people, it's amusing to me, man. To see people's hopes and dreams get crushed and crumble every day, all right, because they wake up and they hear the money is going up, um, um, uh, all their investments is getting um, um, uh, 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 uh take their money out, you know, everything they believe in everything. And if they put all in um uh 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 good trust is going down the drain, man. So, um, <clears throat> Psalms 18. And it's all good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start at 24. It says, Therefore hath Yahweh recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, and in his eyesight, man. And how are we clean uh, in Yahweh's eyes, man? It's through Yahweh's shot, you know. How can a man cleanse his way by taking heed into the word, man? That means constantly you gotta abide by this word, you know. You gotta constantly uh, 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 be washed, man. This is living water, man. You gotta constantly flow, you know. It says, um, with the merciful, thou will show thyself merciful. With an upright man, thou will show thyself upright. With the pure, thou will show thyself pure. And with the forward, thou will show thyself forward. For thou will save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. For thou will light my candle. Yahweh by Shami Shai, my power will enlighten my darkness, man. And that's what the Lord did unto us through the Spirit, man. You know? It says, For by thee I have run through a troop, and by my power have I leaped over a wall. As for the Most High, his way is perfect. The word of Yahweh is tried. He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For who is the most high save Yahweh? And who is our rock save our power? It is the most high that girdeth me with strength and maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation. It says like it. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand has holding me up. And thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them, neither did I turn again till they were consumed. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength unto the battle. Thou hast subdued under me those that rose up against me. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. And that's what's going to happen, man. You know, uh, Baruch, the fourth chapter, it speaks about uh, 
uh, uh, uh, y'all, y'all, uh, these heathens have seen our captivity, but soon they will see our salvation, right? It says, Thou has also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto Yahweh, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Thou hast delivered me from the strivings of the people, and thou hast made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places. Yahweh by Shami Shai live it and blessed be my rock and let the power of my salvation be exalted. It is the most high that avengeth me and subdueth the people under me. Uh, I just finished it off. It says, He delivered me from my enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. And who was who that violent man, man? That's Esau Edom, man. You know, and that's our salvation, and that's what's going to take place. That's what's going to happen. It's a, yeah. It says, Therefore will I give thanks unto thee, O Yahweh, by Sham Yahweh among the heathen, and sing prayers, uh, uh, praises unto thy name. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. And that's what we're hoping for, man. The sure mercies of uh, uh, King David, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Isaiah 60 and um I'm gonna start at nine. Surely the isle shall wait for me and the ships of Tarsus first to bring thy sons from far, the silver and the gold with them, into the name of the of Yahweh thy power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he he has glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and the kings shall minister unto thee, for my wrath I smote thee. But my favor have I had mercy on thee. Mm -hmm. Therefore thy gate shall and, 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 and who who were those kings, right? This is uh this is Psalms 149. And uh I started six. It says, Let the high praise of the most high be in their mouth, and a two-edged sword in their hand, to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgments written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Shah, man. And the saints, just to prove who that is, I'm gonna jump back a chapter, Psalms 148 and 13. Let them praise the name of Yahweh, for his name alone is excellent, his glory is above the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye Yahweh. By Shami Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Hey, how did they get anybody else in the kingdom besides, you know, say besides Israel, man? I mean, the scriptures is cold cut about who's going to be in the kingdom, man, and who they're going to be ruling with, man. You know? Um, this is um, Isaiah, like Isaiah 60 and 11. Uh, 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 it's like it's, uh, 60 and 12. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee, the fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Yeah. Right? Because right now, you look at the earth right now, man, it said it's a footstool, right? Yeah. Now, would you really want to put your brand new everyone on some dirty floors, man? And walking through some mud? Like, hey, that's how you know it's pretty hot about me outside. It's only in the middle of the Lord right now, man. The fact because um America so called you know America the earth is lying um in life and wickedness man you know it's filthy it's, it's a cesspool of hey if you just tell you exactly what this is man bro they got all kind of motherfucking plastic and garbage just I seen it, yeah. in the ocean and yep. shit man yeah more than ten miles of the shit man garbage uh, floating in the orbit and shit yep. man there's just all kind of madness man yep. You want the Lord to dwell here? He dwell here, man. He gotta do some house cleaning, man. And guess what he gonna do? Yeah, he bringing he bringing his broom. 
Right. <laughs> it's called the besom of destruction, man. Yep. Isaiah the 14th chapter. Yep. You know? That besom, man, is a broom. And what's that broom? That destroying wind, man. What's that destroying wind? That's that hot fire. You said you'll be fan of the fan of earth, boy. You understand? That's the lake of fire, man. That's that hell fire to you Christians, man. Gonna burn in hell forever. No, nah, not forever, but you're gonna burn for a minute. <laughs> it says, um, the sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, mm -hmm. and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. Ooh, and it says, All they that have afflicted thee, right? Mm -hmm. This is uh, first Maccabees 2 and 10. And it says, What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten up her spoils, man? Mm. You know? So all, 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 each and every last one of you is going to come bend it. You understand? Hey, you just start with Psalms 83. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I right, quit a little piece of it. It's um, Baruch 4 and 31. You know what? I'm sorry, 30. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee. Start up, start up, start up. Um, um so I can. You know? What do you think about The, where it says that, uh, they seen, they seen, uh, our, our captivity. Seem to rejoice. Verse 24, verse 24 say. Yeah. This is Sarat 4 and 24. Like if now the neighbors of Zion have seen your captivity, so shall they see surely your salvation from our power. Mm -hmm. We shall come upon you with great glory and brightness of the of the of the everlasting. Right, man. So it says, uh, like as you've seen our captivity, man, not, yeah, you're going to see our glory, man. You're going to see our salvation. You understand? Revelation 11, it says the cloud received them, you know, and the enemies beheld them. Wisdom of Solomon 5, so far beyond what we, what, what, what we look for, you know? And then Revelation 21, what, what, the holy city, Jerusalem coming out of the sky? Hey, man, when those elect men, Lord willing, we have the, hey, man. When they come back down, bro, oh shit, it's on and popping. Yeah. That's when Psalms 149 getting into play, man. You know? The Lord spoke about what? Uh, it's gonna be uh, quick, man. From thence where my hand take thee, though thou climb into heaven, though thou dig into hell. What's that, Amos, I believe? Hey, you know what Esau Kingdom is like? You know, the dude be stacking, stacking them dominoes up, making them big old fancy domino batters, and a smack coming in a bounce it, knocked it all down before he hit the finish. Like I got more than you. I got more than you. <laughs> you know, like you know, they, um, they make the design when they knock one down, and you make it spell down stuff. Or somebody come in and knock it down accidentally. Yeah. They mad because it fell down and shit. But guess what, man? Y'all watch me. Y'all shot gonna come come back unexpectedly, knock this down, man. And you're not gonna build it back up, man. Mm. Right? You're gonna be you're gonna be pissed off because this. I like your brothers tell me the other day. This is the closest. This is the closest Esau has ever gotten, man. All right, he's so close. He, I mean, he can taste it, man. But guess what? But he can't stop the prophecies, man. He knows that if he does what he's gonna do, they're not gonna do what he's gonna do, man. And guess what? We're waiting for the end game. We're waiting for y'all about to shot to come back and knock his dominoes down, man. You no? Know? Oh, yeah, you know, keep going, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just go ahead and finish this up real quick, dude. It says, uh, I'm gonna jump down to verse. Uh, uh, keep reading through. Keep reading through. Mm -hmm. All right, this is on 25. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. Mm -hmm. So what we're going through now, you know, suffer patiently, man. You know, because we deserve more. We deserve that. You know, go ahead. For thine enemy hath persecuted thee, but surely thou shalt see his destruction and shall tread upon his neck. What are we just reading, Psalms? And King David said, the Lord has given, given me the necks of my enemies, man. Mm -hmm. 
The Lord said, wait till he rise up to the prey, man. So we got to have faith and patience in him. Go ahead, bro. And it says, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. Mm -hmm. Be of good comfort, O oh my children, and cry unto the Most High. You got to cry unto Yah about Shammai Shah. You got to be signed and crying, man. Well, what do we start with? Uh, the uh, Uriel, the angel, told Ezra, it's like, yeah, you, 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 you mourn a lot. lot. Yeah. You sorrow more a lot for your nation, man. For the state of our nation, for the state of the world, man. But these heathens are all kind of madness. Come on, man. Hey, hey, hey regardless, hey, regardless of what y'all think, hey, man, we sorrow, man. We sorrow, we crying about, about what's going on around here, man. We show it. But they tell me, why are you mad all the time? Why y'all always angry, man? What do you mean? You not? It says, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. We've been oppressed, man. This is unrighteous, man. First off, the hey, the scripture says we shouldn't be built house to house, man. You got people standing in apartments, all kind of madness. This goddamn devil is is, is mixing and splicing seeds when the scriptures tell you not to. Homosexuality is running rampant. All kind of madness, man. Hey, this devil breaks every law against the scriptures, man. Well, everything that he does, man. All right, this is um, the verse 27. To be of good comfort, O my children, pray unto the Most High. Ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. Mm -hmm. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned. Seek him ten times more. Exactly, man. You know? So we deserve what we're going through, man. Just suffering for this present time is not worthy to be compared. We just read that the, 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 the streets going to be paved in gold and our walls and, and, and cities going to be built up with all kind of precious stones, man. You know? How are these heathens going to come bow to us, serve us? They will come bringing us different spices and, 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 and fruits and their daughters and just all, all cut, man. Come. It's uh, all kind of wealth, gold, silver, all kind of things, man. Precious minerals and, 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 and stones. Different types of wine that they didn't grow. You know what I'm saying? Just, uh, you know? Yeah, because it's going to talk about um, through our much tribulation, one of our children into the kingdom. But guess what we got waiting for us in the kingdom, though, man? All right? I mean, we're going to go through a little suffering right now. Some of us going to go through... Through it more than other sort of things, but guess what, man? We're looking for the kingdom, man. We know, you know, it, uh, uh, one thing about um, uh, uh, one thing about this, um, the truth and his understanding is knowing that we're gonna get there, man. All right, but we're gonna suffer these things, man. We just gotta endure, man. This is um, back in um, back in 28 or 29, second so address, uh, 429, the it's like Baruch 429. He that have bought these plagues upon you to bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. That's it. That's it. To take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that make thee so like to take good, take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoice to thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children serve. Miserable is, the, is that that received thy sons. And and like you brother talking about all those kings and stuff, man. Hey, look, we can't even fathom how many people owe us, man. You know what I mean? They just eat all that owes, man. It's the world. You know? It's all of them. What one nation have not had a part of? Yeah, yeah, we read. Uh, verse 33. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation, man. You know? You keep going? Yeah, yeah, yeah keep right. going. So if I would take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. Mm -hmm. This is the. Yeah, because yeah, they see the destruction of America, man. Mm -hmm. You know? This, yeah. is, this, this, this is her. This is that bitch. This is that whore. And when, when, and once this place get destroyed and Israel gonna get hit with a nuke, you know, in different other areas, you know, through Washington D.C. 
Oh shit, this whole motherfucking thing getting lit up. Um, the for fire shall come upon her from the everlasting. Yeah, yeah. And once they see that judgment, man, they, hey, hey. And then, and then once those, like I said, like we spoke on, those men coming out those chariots, mm -hmm. once that holy city come down, come on, man. Says, um, long to endure, and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. Lo, thy sons come, whom thou sendest away. They come gathered together from the east to the west by the word by the word of the Holy One, rejoice in the glory of your hour. Hey, that's how we being gathered, man. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 51 33 it says, For thus said the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, the daughter of Babylon, is like a threshing floor. It is time to thresh her. Yet a little while, and the time of her harvest shall come. Yeah, man. So, like I said, yet a little while, man. Only he that will let. Will let. So, we have to uh, be patient and endure and then be in chess in ourselves. Uh, rebuke brothers, rebuke ourselves to stay in this thing, to stay straight in the straight gate. All right, because we got we, hey, we got everlasting rest for, uh, uh, waiting for us, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, before I hit that, spirit of King it is the second address two, and um, it's the second address two. And 13 it says go and ye shall receive pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened the kingdom is already prepared for you watch you know that kingdom that city man is prepared for us the second Andrew 7 and uh 6 it says there is also another thing there is also another thing a city is built and set upon a broad field and it's full of all good things man and that's what we wait on. Hebrew says, hey, 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 for those who, who are looking for a continuous city, roughly paraphrasing, man. You know? That's what we're hoping for. That's what we're waiting on. The kingdom of heaven. Hey, and, and even in the kingdom, when once you even, you know, hey, this is only right that you get judged for what you did unto us. It's only right. And after that, what happens, man? This is uh, Isaiah 2. And um, I started one. It says, the word that uh, Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass that we, uh, both kingdoms come in one, man, the, uh, the, the nation. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh's house shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills. And all nations shall flow into it. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of Yahweh to the house of the power of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of Yahweh from Jerusalem. You know, this is going to happen in the kingdom of heaven. Well, first off, it's happening with us, us, uh, 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 us Israelite foreigners waking up, realizing who we are. You know, and it's going to take place in the kingdom of heaven, man. These heathen are going to do, do the same thing. It says, um, verse, verse 4. And he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore, man. So it will be no war. The earth will be at peace. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear it rule, the people mourn, man. You know? So even in the kingdom of heaven, hey, hey, after you get your just judgment, man, you know, hey, man, the kingdom of heaven is, is hey, I done, you know, paradise, man, a joy. That's the whole earth, man. So everybody can enjoy, you know. And Esau, Edom getting, getting, getting erased off the planet, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you get it, bro. Um, for 
15, Isaiah 16 and 15. Where thou hast been forsaken and hated, that no man went through thee, or made thee in eternal excellency a joy of many generations. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, thou shalt suck the breast of kings, thou shalt know that I, Yahweh, am thy Savior, and thy Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. Mm -hmm. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood, brass, and for stone, and iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thy exactness righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. For yeah, that. Yeah. 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 And, um, it says, but thou shalt call thy wall salvation, thy gates praise. Right, man. No. So, hey, 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 well, once, once the salvation comes for the children of Israel, for the elect, you know, and once the uh, just ass whoopings be handed out accordingly, yeah, man, it's going to be a beautiful place, man. You understand? That's uh, 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 Zechariah 14. You get that? Zechariah 14 and... Uh, Sixteen. Look around fourteen and sixteen. So it come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem shall even go up from year to year to worship the king of Yahweh of hosts and, and to keep the feast of tabernacles. And it shall be that whoso will not come up of, of all the families of the earth unto Jerusalem to worship, to worship the king, Yahweh of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. Okay, so so uh, the laws, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahweh is going to be enforced on the planet, man. And that's what's going to make this place a paradise, man. You know, a joy, because everything is going to be governed and ruled according to what? Righteousness. Mm -hmm. It says, And the family of Egypt go not up, and, it's like, and if the family of Egypt go not up, and come not, they have no rain, there shall be the plague wherewith Yahweh will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. This shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all the nations that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. That's it, man. You know? We're supposed to show you be going off. They ain't gonna <laughs> You know? They, if they do, they don't get fucked up. I mean, they still gonna be in the flesh. You know? So, um, you got anything, brother? Oh, uh, yeah, this is, uh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 7, it says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, mm. and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. It says, But the fearful and unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. So, basically, if you're not a part of the elect, now, this is going to be the demise for you, man. Because you know, ultimately, you you were lying when you you were committing idolatry, when you lied in the scriptures and you knew you were the Israelite, or you you turned back to the Roman Catholicism and you went back to the, the same old bull, or you just ignored this completely altogether, or you might have said, "Well, I respect what you guys are doing, but that's not for me." Lord says, "You still have your part in the lake of fire. You still have a judgment that you have to clear out." Even though you could have just cleared it by, you know, uh, just uh, taking this punishment cheerfully. Hey, so with that, man, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, the honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millsong, and St. Tate for all you brothers who preach the gospel of truth and its sincerity always in charity. Well, we hope this was edifying, brothers, uplifted, and exhorted. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.